this pipe uh, that bursted in the last video there. Um, I'm going to bring it down and get and get a new pipe. <coughs> but the connect, <coughs> excuse me, the connection on this bottom side, um, it, it's difficult to get in with a spanner. So I don't know whether I'll be able to get that off. I might ha have to go back up to the yard and see can I get an adjustable spanner. Um, to see, just need to hold this. Down. God knows when this was off, so it could be difficult enough to. Uh, get off. Just need to get, just need to get a smaller spanner. We have this section off, as you see there. It's it was it was well worn, and like there's a few others of these these pipes that could be in the same boat, where uh, mightn't be long until. Just jump down here. Uh, mightn't be long until they go either. Now, it's this one here, but I can't get at it, so I'll probably have to take this one off to, to get at this one, I would say, and they probably haven't been opened in a while, as I'd say, so it just could be. The other one wasn't too bad, actually. The other one wasn't too bad to get off. Um, so, yeah, I'd say I'll have to take this one off in order to get this one. Yeah, so... Got it off, it's not a big pipe, but anyway, yeah, I just had to take that one off to get the back one. So I just stuck that back on so nothing to go down into it. I, I might just see, can I stick something there to stop any dirt and going back down into that. We go down to uh, down to a place called Circuit down in Kilkool, I think I mentioned that before, and um, they'll have they'll be able to renew it there and then. So look, it'll only take me half an hour, then we get back at this out the shed i just need to check what oil goes into that tractor then as well um in the back end because you know the way they're all different so i might i might need to get a drum of oil for that as well now because it's after leaking a little bit got the pipe back on the other tractor up there uh, i just had to go collect as well remember i was saying about my muck spreader uh total needs a total revamp so i just went and got i got, I got some new chains and beaters uh, i don't know whether it'll need them all or not but it's absolutely jammed with plastic and rope and everything needs to be cleaned out and the dung was always getting stuck in it, could never clean it out completely so I want to get water in it then, clean it out, bring it up to the house. Uh, even some of the chains were shortened uh, because I just had to cut a bit off in order to um, get a new beater on the end of it so it's not even hitting the bottom of it but we need to look at it when the whole thing's cleaned out. Uh, because it, it was only half spreading and you were sitting in the field and the feckin' thing was beating and beating and it wasn't spreading the dung and it was just wasting too much time. So, it probably needed to be done about two years ago, but sure, we're getting to it now. So, there'll probably be a full... Getting the thing cleaned out first uh, would be the thing and then there's probably a full day's work trying to just cut bits off, weld bits back on or whatever and maybe we need to make up little brackets to put on... Um, the round bar in the middle maybe we need to weld on brackets of that drill holes in them i got bolts there as well so i'll need I, I won't be able to see until i have the whole thing cleaned out and see where we stand with it but uh there's just another guy after ringing there too he uh wanted a couple of sheds cleaned out and drew with that trailer as well so you've gone from being slack to under pressure again you know what i mean so it that's one phone call and you're, and you're back under pressure it just means then I'm, I'm under pressure to get my own stuff done. But anyway, look at it. It's work, and we'll do it, and we get it done. Um, so now I'm going up for a bit of lunch, and I get back to the sheep shed now after lunch. Um, and get it, even if we got that one side cleaned out, because all the wool is on the other side as well. We're going to have to go with the wool uh, probably next week, um, I would say. It, it should have been gone, but you know yourself, it's always lastminute.com doing these things. So I'd probably stick it up on the bale trailer. Oh, I stick, now that I mentioned the bale trailer, I actually have to go with a load of haylage as well after lunch. So that's the first thing I'll be doing. And then I'll go back to the sheep shed. Uh, Country Cottage Stables need haylage. He actually messaged me last week. So what I might do is actually bring two loads over to him. And at least then he sorted for a while, you know what I mean? Um, because I always get caught... Uh, where he wants it and I'm always sort of busy and then I'm struggling to get it to him so I might bring over two load 
and then he'd have he'd have 32 bales in his in his yard there and, and that would do him a while so just going to unload these out of the jeep and throw them some dung tipped here anyway uh, from the spring so sometimes it gets fucking stuck in the back I think there's only about a load left on a load left in that side so I'll come out with the tractor and I'll push all that up into a heap um, and late, later on maybe when it's just maybe not quite so wet but we're, we're saying maybe when it's not quite so wet since feckin June and has done nothing else but rain we had one week in September that was it but anyway you just have to go with it uh, like there's plenty of grass, this is my dad's field, like there's loads of grass. Just been uh, drawn dung here for a bit, uh, it was all day yesterday but I forgot the camera with me yesterday. So, um, just went to... So yeah, done a good few loads there yesterday. Uh, Another, ah, probably another two loads going to finish it off. Um, today, I would say. I'm probably going to have to finish off this video now because uh, tomorrow is Thursday. And, uh, oh God, I'm out red. Uh, I'm still on antibiotics, so I'm just I'm fucking more out. Tomorrow's Thursday, and I have to go do an acres course uh, for this new scheme, this new acres scheme uh, this year. Um, there's a course in Tinnahili in the Chagas office in Tinnahili, and it's all day, so that's that's tomorrow. I have to go to that. Uh, to be there at ten o'clock, and I think I think it finishes at five, so it's all day, all day course on uh, on that scheme. So, I, I won't get any video done tomorrow, um, so I, I'm going to have to finish off this video now. So yeah, just just been drawn dung the last day or two, there's only, as I said, there's only two lows left. So again, uh, I hope everyone liked the video and I uh, hope you enjoyed it and thanks very much for watching. And um, as always, please give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe because uh, it actually costs you nothing to subscribe. And uh, it, it, it really benefits me. And we will catch you at the next one.